my name is Cassandra Gavin Henry and today I'm going to teach you all about my favorite plant, the Pilea peppermoides. The Pilea peppermoides is a form of Peromia. So Peromias are often known for having what's called pup populate in the planter. Pups are baby Pileas or baby plants. So the pups can actually be harvested from the plant to create more plants. So Pileas are commonly known as both the Chinese money plant and the friendship plant. They're known as this because they're often a very shareable plant within the plant community. My favorite thing about the Pilea is how easy it is to propagate. Pileas can be propagated two different ways. So Pileas can be propagated by planting them directly into soil or by putting them into water to root. Today I'm going to show you the process of the two different ways you can propagate a Pilea peppermoides. So to propagate our Pilea, we need supplies. So some of the supplies we need today are a clean, sterilized pair of scissors, some dry dirt, and a spoon. Different planter options. I have three different sizes here. The different sizes of planters are good for different root sizes, and I'll explain a little bit more about that later, but my favorite is terracotta, so terracotta will be what I'm using today. As well, we need a measuring cup to measure our water, plant fertilizer. My favorite brand is the Schultz. Distilled water. Distilled water is really good for not burning plants. Um, tap water has fluoride in it, and fluoride is really bad for the leaves of the plant. You'll also notice that on my Pilea soil, there's a reddish brown substance. That's cinnamon. So cinnamon can be used as an antifungal and an antibacterial for plants. It's a great, healthy, um, non-chemical option to keep your plants safe and healthy. Pilea pups often pop up from the soil under the largest leaves on the Pilea plant. Pilea pups are roots that start a cellular change that tells them to seek sunlight to photosynthesize and gain more energy for the mother plant. Pilea pups quickly grow under the arms of the mother plant's largest leaves and begin to form their own root system separate from the mother plant's umbilical root. Here in the front, you can see two pups we will propagate today, and in the back are two smaller juvenile Pilea pups that aren't quite ready for harvest, but will soon be. To take my Pilea cutting, I will use my sterilized scissors to cut the Pilea from the base of the root. You can go two to three inches into the soil to ensure that the pilea will have some viable roots once it's planted. So here you can see the soil mass on the pilea pup. Within that mass are some viable roots that the pilea pup can use to grow. So this is my first cutting. And I will take two cuttings today for my demonstration. So for the second cutting, I'll go in again about two inches deep. And this guy has some smaller roots, so he'll be great for our water propagation. Taking cuttings from Pileus is actually very helpful for the mother plant. The mother plant puts a lot of energy into making her pups. That energy is taken from the bigger leaves, and thus it makes the leaves smaller that grow in in the future. So taking away the pilea pups from the mother plant really allows the mother plant to uh, blossom out and bloom to be a bigger, healthier plant. So once you've taken your cuttings from your healthy mother plant, you can set your healthy mother plant aside and she's going to heal and grow and be fine. So as you can see, I now have my two cuttings from my pilea plant. This one has the healthier, longer roots, as you can see there. So this one I'm gonna be planting directly into soil. Whereas this one, the roots are a little bit shorter. So this one I'm gonna be planting, well actually I'm going to be water propagating. So I'll explain that process next. So water propagating is probably the easiest way of propagating a Pilea pup. So with water propagating, all I need is water and growth hormone. Growth hormone can be found within this liquid plant food from Schultz. So with the liquid plant food, what you need is one liter of water. So this is my handy measuring cup from Ikea. So I'm going to pour out one liter of water from the distilled water that I mentioned earlier. Now I use this water on all of my plants, so the Pilea will not need this full liter of water, but the rest of my plants will. So once you have your one liter of water, you can take your Schultz liquid plant food, 
and it comes with this lovely little built-in dropper. So with the built-in dropper, you're just gonna pinch and pull and you're gonna fill your vial. So seven drops of this is perfect for one liter of water. So I'm gonna do seven drops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So with those seven drops, it's going to have enough rooting hormone to really stimulate the roots of the pileated plant to help promote healthy growth. So I'm going to take a little coffee stir stick. I'm gonna stir that water up. It mixes together pretty quickly. Um, it dissipates into the water pretty much immediately. So one good little stir is all you need. I like to propagate my plants in water in a glass cup. So this is just a regular glass cup, probably about eight ounces. I got it from the dollar store. So I pour the water in here about halfway. So pouring the water in halfway will make sure that the roots are perfectly saturated when I set it in. But the leaves are still above water. So having the leaves still above water allows the plant to gather energy and photosynthesize from the leaves, but allows the roots to have the nutrients it needs to grow properly. So next up, I'm going to plant this pilea pub directly into soil. So with the soil propagation, I like to use dry soil. A lot of the soil that comes in a bag from Kent or Home Depot is wet. It's naturally moist, which is not very good for the plants. Sometimes with the soil, when it's naturally wet and it sits for a long time, it can become moldy, which is where cinnamon can come in really handy. But allowing your, allowing your um, soil to dry out really lets um, the soil kind of form its own natural bacteria barriers and it makes it better for planting, especially a nice fresh cutting that you want to be viable. So I like to use a spoon, which is also from the dollar store, to um, dish out my soil. I find it a lot easier than a trowel when I'm working with something so small. Because the pilea, in comparison to the trowel, is about a third of the size, it's really too big to be handling. So like I said earlier, there's three different plant sizes, or plant potter sizes, that you can use to start off a pilea pot. This one here is about a 2.5. So 2.5 means 2.5 inches. So the circumference of this pot is 2.5 inches. This is great for something with shallow roots. However, the pileas roots, as you can see, are just a little bit too tall for the plant potter. So I need something a little bit taller. This is a circumference of three inches. So the three inch plant potter has a nice depth to it and allows the pilea to have room to grow, but not too much room. This here is a four inch plant potter. These are very commonly um, what you purchase seedlings in in the spring for perennials or outdoor plants when you go to somewhere like Bessie Seeds or Van Campens. This plant potter is too big for the pilea. All right, so we have our pilea, we have our plant potter, and we have our dirt. So what do we do next? <laughs> well, we are going to take our plant and we are going to put it in the middle of the plant potter after we add in a tiny spoonful of dirt to the bottom of the plant potter. So adding a bit of dirt to the bottom of the plant potter allows the bottom of the plant potter to have a bit of a platform for the roots to sit on top of when you first put it in. You wanna drop your pilea plant into the middle of the plant potter so that it sits evenly and centered when you plant it. So from there, you'll balance your pilea in the middle of the plant potter, you'll take your spoon and you will fill in the dirt. I find this very therapeutic, especially in the summer when it's so beautiful outside and I can sit on my deck and replant them. Now, another reason why pileas are called the friendship plant and the um, Chinese money plant is because they're so easily shareable. So I have populated now over 30 pilea pups, which I have either sold for a toonie or given away to friends for birthdays, anniversaries, um, even Christmas. Um, I've actually made quite a few friends through the um, PEI Plant Pals Facebook group, which is where a lot of us little plant lovers like to sell and talk about our plants, which is really fun. So once you have your plant all planted and very centered, you just want to gently 
flat down the uh, soil on the top here. You're just making sure that there's no air bubbles or pockets where the um, soil could kind of concave into to create a hole when you water it. So with that, we now have two propagated pilea pups. The first pup propagated in water and the second pup propagated in soil. The pup that's propagated in water should be ready to be planted in soil in about two to three weeks. Two to three weeks will allow the pilea to have enough time to grow nice roots. You want the roots to be about one inch to two inches long when you're propagating in water. This allows the plant to be its most viable and ready to survive. The pilea that was planted in the tiny three inch um, terracotta pot should be ready to be upgraded in about six months time. I have here a pilea that I propagated at Christmas time, so four months ago. This pilea was about this size about four months ago underneath the mother plant and I propagated it straight to soil. So this little guy sits above my kitchen sink. Pileas prefer bright indirect sunlight. A north facing window or a northwest facing window is the best opportunity for a pilea to grow and flourish. These little guys will be sitting in my north window and they should be fully ready to be given away as gifts in six months time. I can't wait to give them away to my friends and I'm sure they'll appreciate them. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the Pilea Peppermoides, how to populate a Pilea, and a bit of fun facts about the Pilea. Thank you.